Hello friends. So we were going through the variable. This is part three. So we have already covered the string operations and the number operations. Now in this video, we are going to cover the date time. So many times uh, there are you have to do lots of operations on date whenever you are fetching some reading from the Excel or database and you have to check or you have to query or, or you have to compare some dates or you have to get you know addition of some dates or you have to go to the back dates and for fetch some results as per the required date so in a2019 they have added the date time so let's go and explore that package date time package here so first of all what we will do as previous videos we have done it let's create one bot and uh, we will name this bot as uh, date time operations So we have created a bot here. So you can see we have the packages here. So first of all, what we will do, we will create one object, user defined object of date time. So we say my current or my date, that's it. And type we will choose as a date time. We will not be going to define any format right now here and we will create the variable. Now let's go to the action and check the date time. So you can see here we have a date time here. So if you open, so these are all actions we can perform on the date object. We can add the date or we can assign some values to the date object we can check uh, what comes after this date or before this date or whether the two dates are equal or not we can compare it we can even subtract it if we have to go to the back dates or you can convert into the string so let's do one by one we will check it that how we will perform all these actions so let's assign first of all some date here so i have chosen my drag and drop the date object here now you can assign some values to this date previously we have not defined it so let's say we want to define a date as uh, 20 12 2019 right and the they have to choose the date format there are some already predefined formats if you like to choose it all are given iso local date offset date so you can also select uh, from this format but uh, i don't like because i want to define my own custom format so you can define it here so i will say dd mm yy this is the format in which i have provided this date right so you can define it here but the format when you are defining a custom format be careful how to define this so you can go through the documentation here i have a documentation here you can see that why you can define it smaller or in caps also and months should be in caps D you can define in a small hours H small or H you can define it in this way so you can go through the document when you're defining the custom date so you can define in all these uh, formats you can see where you can define the minutes hours second milliseconds so all you can define it here even you can define the zoom here Z the zoom so you can define like plus minus zoom here so you can go through this uh, documents if you like to know that how it will be defined in the custom date so let's come back to our bot so here you can see that uh, i have defined it month in small so it will not take it in that case it will give the error so let me define it 
mmyyy format so this is the format i have defined it and where i want to assign this so i have already created uh one date time object here or variable here so i will choose the date time variable here you can also create hand to hand from here create variable if you like and apply here so you can see that we have the coding here also if you want to see all with format this so let's go to the for flow only because flow you know it become easy for me to check that how it's going on so I have assigned it now I want to check it whether it's running or not I just message it go into the message box and give the first of all I like to give my title here I'm on tag and here I like to display the date your given date is for the date so as in string operations and number operation what I did it I just have the dollar if I am writing then it will give the all the variables custom variables and your system variables so if I will choose here so you can see that it will not read this because it's a date format and it's take message box take only the string format so in this case if I am defining dot also it will not read it because like in case of a string and the number numbers as we have done it in previous videos this will not you're not able to do or convert it into the string so this way we cannot go so come back again the only way now we got it is in the case of date format date time that we have to assign this value or convert this value to the string so let's come back here and assign this date value so our value was v my date and what's the format i have to define the format in which format i want to read it here you can also change the format anytime like uh, i have defined it in slash right but i want to read it in some other format so i can also read it in different uh, format so let's read it in different format i want to read it like this why 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 and where i want to store it store it in prompt only no problem that's a string only right now here i will now add the prompt to read my date which i have given here let's apply here save it and now run the bot so now what will have it, it will just pre-processing and download the package which is not available on my desktop or whatever dependencies and run so you have seen that uh, we have defined a, the our date format in slashes 20 forward slash then 12 then forward slash and 2019 but at the time of reading it we just change the format so it's changed the format and given the exact value so this is how you can assign and read the value in different formats so we have successfully read it now this is the way actually where you can assign the values now let's go with the other actions here now we will say add so we we'll use add now what i will do it after assigning it what i want it that whatever the value i have assigned it like that is 20th right 20th of december 12. so let's read that and i want to add so what you can add it like uh, five days all right so i want to add uh, five select you can select it here 
it will be a 5 millisecond 5 seconds or 5 minutes hours days or 5 weeks or 5 months or years so whatever you want to choose it you can choose it from here and it will change accordingly right so let's say 5 months i want to add 5 months to my given date and i want to assign this value to the same my date time now apply here and save here so friends so what do you think what will be the expected result it should add five months mean december january february march april may so it will give the may 2020 let's run this and check the result fine so you can see 20th may 2020 it has added the five months to the our given date so this is how the same way you can add or you can uh, subtract so let's subtract again so for example delete this i want to subtract here the same way as you have done the add you can subtract my v date is this given date that is 20th december i want to subtract three days so let's choose days now three days from this date and assign it to the same date so it means that it is 20th it will decrease it will uh, subtract the three trace that will come to 17 so let's apply save and run it so the result should be 17 December yes it is 17 December 2019 as I expected so this is how we can do the subtraction also so now let's check our is after is before or equal to so what they do it will is after is before and is equal this all three actions give the boolean result right so what i have to do it first i have to create a boolean v flag and as a boolean one create which will give whether it's true or false so in this case let me get one more date um, second date you can say and take the date here the time create it right now i i have assigned here the 20th let me assign one more here to the second date and I, what the date i want to assign it so you can see here i have assigned it in slashes here i don't want to assign in slashes let's say 15 09 2019 and format that is dd mm why 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 so i have assigned it here and where i want to assign this second date so i have assigned this value to this second date apply here now i want to check within this two date 20th 12 2019 and 15 9 and 2019 whether is after or not right so let's take this one now i want to check whether my date is after the second date or not and assign the value to the boolean so see carefully what i did it i just says the v my date is after the second date so as per our expectation it should give the true because definitely 12 come after nine months so let's apply this and 
subtract remove this i don't need this action now now to a string so now to a string is also not required because here we are getting the value of boolean and in boolean we can do it hand to hand from here only flag equal to flag is just put it uh, now we got the v flag after dollar and we can directly change into string so let's save our bot and run our bot so you can see flag is true because our my date comes after the second date so it's working fine we have tested now is before so if i just put our action just remove this is after i don't need it now we have tested this thing now i want to check it is before here okay whether my date is before the second date and assigned with the v flag this is same you know it's opposite to the is after date so let's uh, apply this and save this so this time friends what would be the result so uh, because uh, is before my date is not before it's after only so in this case if before i am putting it it should give me the false let's run this and check what will be the result so as expected it has given me the false here we are going good let's do the last one that is equal so if i will put it equal they are not equal definitely but let's check it whether they are equal or not what's it's giving that is my date and the second date are equal or not and put that is into my flag and apply save and now run the bot so it's say false because they are not equal flag is false good but here we will do one more thing what we will do the format is different right let's change this with the different format and then check it whether it able to compare it or not so let me update this what i wanted i wanted this time 0 12 and i want 20 here and the format what i am giving is now mm and dt so here you can check that the date is same right but the format is changed so but they are equal so i want to check it whether they are equal or not so let's check this I'm also doing this first time. I'm telling you the fact. This is the first time I'm running this, changing the format and other things. I don't know the result. It should, as my expectation, it should give the true. Let's check it. Wow, it works fine. So it's a nice feature, no doubt. So date time was not there previously in 10.x and 11.x and I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the fact. I done up many practicals. Uh, I face a big challenge in 11.x and 10.x when I'm just manipulating the dates and checking the dates, comparing the dates. It was really a great challenge for me at that time with the different formats. But it has made a marvelous change, a big change, and the time object has given a uh, lots of easiness to me. It's a very good feature added into a2019 so i hope you would have liked this thanks and uh, please subscribe me i'm definitely going to give you a whole tutorial that is to, you will learn the whole uh, a2019 and uh, with practical definitely not only the you know just telling you the things i just try to give all the examples that how it will work thank you guys thank you very much for watching my videos thank you